Holmes and I'd like to show you today how to anchor thread to your braid so that you can add a bead stitched embellishment. Let's start by looking at a few different projects that require this technique. So whenever you have a beaded kumihimo and you're going to sew beads to it, here we have beads along the edge and on the inside. In this necklace, they're both the inside and the outside. And then in this bracelet, we've actually sewn two beads together as part of our embellishment. So anytime you're going to sew beads to your braid, the first step of that embellishment process will be to anchor the thread. So let's take a look at that. I have a sample braid ready to go here. So the exact nature of your base braid will vary depending on your project. But typically when we're doing these embellished projects, there's some sort of bead that serves as the embellishment point. In this sample, these demi beads stick out the side and those serve as the embellishment points. You can do your stitching with either a big eye needle, looks like this, Big Eye Needle has an eye that runs the entire length of it, or you can use a traditional beading needle that just has a little eye at the one end. I actually prefer the traditional beading needles for the stitching. I like to use the Tulip brand. They're easy to thread and have a slightly rounded tip, which makes it less likely for you to pierce your thread. So I've already put my length of beading thread on here. And to do my anchoring, I'm going to start at my first embellishment point, which is this demi, and I'm going to sew under the braid cord that's going between this demi and the seed bead. Let me zoom in on this. So I'm not sewing through any beads, I'm just sewing underneath the cord. So in this case, it's super long size 18. That's what's making up this braid. These are size eight seed beads and these are size six demi. So I'm sewing underneath that piece of super lawn. I'm gonna pull my thread through, pull, pull, pull. I'm gonna keep going until I have about a six or eight inch tail. And then I'm going to remove my needle. All right, so now I have a long piece of thread and a short piece of thread. So I'm going to take my two pieces of thread together and I'm going to tie an overhand knot. So I'm going to make a loop around my fingers, get my fingers out of that loop, and I'm going to pull both pieces of thread through, both the long and the short. Here's my knot. See it? There's the knot. It's pretty far away from my braid, but this isn't a problem. I'm just going to pull the two ends in opposite directions and see how the knot magically moves. Now it's right here next to my braid. That's exactly where I want it. To get rid of this tail, I'm gonna thread my needle And I'm going to sew away from the area where I'm going to embellish. So the embellish are going, embellishments are going this way. So I'm going to sew this way through this first size eight seed bead that's right next to my demi. And then moving along the same diagonal, I'm going to sew through the next seed bead. So that was just getting this tail away from my initial knot. Now I'm going to finish this with a half hitch knot. To make a half hitch knot, I'm going to sew underneath the braid cord that is in between the two beads. So this is what we did at the very beginning of this. So I sew underneath that cord. And as I pull through, I'm going to get a loop. I want to make sure that my tail piece comes with me. Get, get out of there. All right, so there's my loop. 
And before the loop closes, right, if I keep pulling, the loop will close. Before the loop closes, so through the loop, pull, 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 and now you have a half hitch knot tied around that braiding cord. Snug that up, and I can follow the same diagonal, go through another bead, go through another bead, Now I'm going to tie one more half hitch knot so I sew underneath the braid cord, sew through the loop, pull it, there's my knot, I'm just going to go, oops, I lost my needle. I've moved one bead away from my knot. Let's go two beads. And now I can trim that. All right, get rid of that tail thread. And I'm gonna go back to my main thread, put the needle on it. Sew through this first embellishment point, this first demi. There we go. My embellishment thread has been anchored and is ready for whatever embellishment is called for in this design. Thanks for watching. Happy braiding.